Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Troglies Guitar Show. We got another new Gibson today. Let's see what's inside. All right, so first impressions on this thing. I like this blue color. I'm digging the vibe of the two P90s, the wrap tail. It's got that nice single wing pick guard with the tenon cover. And it feels really well made, especially in comparison to some of the other 2019s that we've been reviewing. I almost feel like they took a little bit of extra time with this. And maybe it's just because this guitar has that really nice vintage look to it. I mean, something that I first noticed is like the beveling to the horns. When I pulled it out of the case, I was really happy with the weight. It's not too heavy for an SG, but it's not like super light either. It's a very appropriate six pounds, 6.7 ounces. We dodged a bullet there, guys. At first glance, this thing impresses. But let's go ahead, tear it apart, see what makes it tick, and check Gibson's quality control. The SG Special, as it appears in this variation, was first released as a mid-range student model in 1961. It featured the then new SG body shape with two soap bar P90s, a wraparound tailpiece, mahogany body, and neck with a bound rosewood fretboard. For 2019, Gibson has finally re-released this long-lost iconic design under its USA lineup. Ever since the mid-70s, an SG Special would then refer to a stripped-down standard with dot inlays and humbucking pickups. Those are great bare-bones rocker guitars, but a far cry from the original design. If you are a Gibson or vintage enthusiast, this revival outside of the custom shop is a huge deal. This release features the same tried and true wood and electronic pairings of the early 60s models at a $14.99 price point. That makes this special run the same price as a current year SG standard as well as the limited edition Chicago Music Exchange runs. The available finishes are also sure to please the old school lovers. The unique options are a faded Pelham Blue, as seen in this episode, and another 60s-inspired, seldom-seen red finish called Vintage Sparkling Burgundy. Alright, I've got it all taken apart here. We can see inside the truss rod cavity there. Looks like everything's looking good. Here you can see the nut and how it was filed at the factory. And here's something that I really want to commend Gibson on. Usually their fretboards look really dry from the factory and last time we had some issue with the binding and having some tooling marks. Now if we get up really close you can see the same type of tooling marks on this one. However, please do keep in mind that we are under really direct lighting right here and honestly I never even saw those before now. But this fretboard is absolutely gorgeous. This is what the body looks like without the pick guard. Hey, it actually kind of looks cool. I'll show you what the pick guard looks like here. On the back, it's just black. The pickups inside this guitar is just a regular P90. They call them the Rhythm and Lead P90 Soap Bar. In the circuit, the bridge pickup is reading about 7.76k ohms. The neck position gives you about 7.82. And when you're in the middle, just for fun, a 3.9. And then you have your P90 base plates. I'll go ahead and remove those just because people are curious. Uh, just a fun little fact though, Gibson actually did not thread this spring correctly in that bridge one. So it's a good thing I took them out anyways, that way I can fix that. Now that we have those removed, we can see the neck tenon here. 
I see this a lot on Gibson guitars. It's not a crack. I mean, sure, it probably could be a tighter fit. I mean, you can get your fingernail in there, but it's completely secure. I remember, I think it's what, the 2015 Derek trucks, a lot of those had that. But you can see it's a nice long tenon here. They kind of routed it up, but hey, that's what it looks like. And here's your bridge. It looks like it has some sort of marking. I can't really make out what it says. I'm sure it has something to do with SG Special and Pelham Blue. Something else that's kind of interesting is you can see this is how the base plate sits and they have four holes drilled, but they only secure it with two. So I'm not really sure what they do with that at the factory because it looks like it was only like a short placeholder because they're not quite as large as these two that are the securing holes. Back of the headstock, here you can see these ones do not have the made in 2019 stamp. Not sure if all of them are like that. My The Paul didn't have that, but you can see the 2019 serial number with your Gibson Cluson Deluxe style tuners with the vintage white buttons. The strap buttons are the large kind that Gibson uses. They're much more secure than a regular styled strap button, but probably still not quite as good as a strap lock. Inside here, I guess I can't say I'm surprised, but I was a little bit disappointed when I saw the PCB in here. I just feel like for these vintage-esque looking ones, they should hand wire them, but it's much easier for them just to plug and chug and be done. So Gibson branded pots, and you have the white connectors. So and what's nice about that is if you don't have any soldering skills, you can still swap out the pickups fairly easily. Keep in mind that a mini humbucker is a direct fit in the same P90 route. And they make the back plate out of this textured material. I'm not personally a fan of these. I'm not quite sure why they switch some of them to this. So now that we've seen how this guitar was made and some of the parts that make it up, why don't we go ahead and hear how this instrument sounds? I will be demoing through my Mesa Boogie Mark 525 amp through all three of its settings, clean, crunch, and dirty. No effects pedals were used. <laughs> Thank you. 
looked inside and we've heard how it sound what is my final opinion of this guitar it is the best 2019 i've had playing this thing it it brought out a whole different side of me it, it made me want to jump around it made me want to play it kept inspiring me just to play more because it's like oh yep that sounds like this song oh no now it sounds like this song this this is a fantastic guitar I was really surprised by these. I knew they looked good, but I didn't know if they were gonna play the part or not. So I do heavily suggest these, but let's take the time to compare this one to a vintage SG Special. What specs didn't they quite get right? Here's a photo of a 1961 SG Special compared to the 2019. You can see the bridge spacing and pickup spacing is a little bit different. Despite Gibson saying they got the vintage carve, you can see they're much more beveled on the vintage. And the pickguard almost appears slightly longer. And I like how the multiply sticks out a bit more on the older example. Also notice how the bridge is angled differently between the two. Looking at the headstock, you can tell the shape is slightly different, and the old ones get the Mother of Pearl logo, whereas we only get a gold silk screen on this new one. I can live with most of these differences because remember, this is a USA like tribute, not necessarily a reissue. These do come with a hard shell case from the factory, so that's always good. You don't always get one of those at this price point, unfortunately. It just says Gibson on the outside. It's a nice brown leather-like exterior. Nice padded handle. You have four latches on the front side, but no latches on the back. And the interior is a nice dark red color. It kind of pops that Pelham blue finish really well. I'm not so sure how it would look with the sparkling burgundy. It might be too much red. But you've got good heel support double neck rest, and inside your case compartment sleeps a lot of goodies. Inside the Ziploc bag, you will find a Gibson branded strap. It's leather-like. It should be a decent strap. I mean, it kind of feels cheap on this side, but this, it's a nice textured material. So if you got a guitar that neck dives, this will really grab onto your shirt. So I really think that's a good strap. You have your silica packet, inspected by checklist. This one looks like it was done in late November. 
This is what we call the baby photo when it's being set up at the factory. This is a polishing cloth that a lot of people have said it stains your guitar, so I, I don't know. I guess I should do some testing on that for a video. You have some warranty information, the owner's manual, and yes, these do get the Gibson multi-tool. I love these little things. You can check out this video if you want to see more in-depth look at these. I hope you enjoyed this close-up look at the brand new 2019 Gibson SG Special. If you enjoy seeing brand new guitar models on my show, please consider buying the used examples that I feature. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.